Hi beauty bees, thank you so much for watching uh, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my top five favorite red matte liquid lipsticks. I am obsessed with red lips. I mean, a red lip is basically my signature look. I think that my skin tone looks really great with reds. Of course, not all reds, which is why these are my five favorite shades slash brands of reds i've tried hundreds upon hundreds of different types of reds and these are just kind of the ones i always go back to so i wanted to share with that i wanted to share that with you today but also wanted to let you know like i'm a huge liquid lipstick person i'm not a big fan of regular lipsticks as they always get stuck in my teeth somehow i don't know if my teeth are just too far forward and like i don't get it but i can never make the cream lipsticks like the little cute ones like i've always wanted to be one of those girls who pulls out their little lipstick and it's like super cute with their compact but i can't i always get stuck in my teeth no matter what i do Ugh, i just mm. anyways um also i'm not a big fan of gloss as gloss my hair always gets stuck in my gloss every time so it's not attractive i'll like be outside and then it's just like i have a huge mouthful of hair um and then it also kind of just makes me look like I'm drooling. Like I'm just like sitting there drooling. And, I'm, and let me tell you, it's not because there's a handsome guy walking by. It's because my lip gloss. <laughs> Anywho, so this is why I prefer liquid lipsticks. And I do prefer matte liquid lipsticks. Um, so yeah, before we get into this video and I share with you my top five favorite red. I just want to introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. My name is Samantha Vasquez, but my stage name is Sammy V and uh, my best friends call me Sam. Uh, as far as my stage name being Sammy V, the reason why that is is because I am actually a singer slash performer. That is my profession. I've done that for 10 years of my life. Um, I've worked in numerous places like cruise lines, uh, theme parks, um, local bands local theaters um, just anywhere pretty much where i can sing and dance that's what i do um so it was kind of through singing is where i've developed my passion in makeup as a singer <laughs> who's not a celebrity <laughs> who's just a regular singer performer in regular gigs um you have to do your own makeup so that's kind of where I developed my passion in makeup. I had to come up with a lot of different looks as there are so many variety and genres that we do. So many different types of shows, like from 50 shows to Halloween shows to like the band gigs. So nighttime looks, just all sorts of things. Um, so just depending on the show that I'm in, I had to adapt my makeup to uh, the specific show, which is why I've developed my makeup skills through my profession of being a singer. I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you didn't know like where my makeup skills came from and then just wanted to let you know what I do for a living. Um, right now I am working on some originals, so hopefully later on in the future, I can definitely share those with you. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> So this video is all about red lipstick. So if you want to continue to see which five are the best shades slash ones to go to, then just keep watching. All right, so number five is gonna be this Tarte Tartise Lip Paint and the color is Cheerleader. I absolutely, oops, whoops. <laughs> I absolutely love, 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 love this color. The color of this red is absolutely gorgeous, especially on my skin tone as I'm very, I have very yellow, yellow olive skin tone. So, um, I know that sounds weird, but I have very yellow slash green undertones. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, so when I'm really tan, I'm like super golden, but like when I'm not that tan, I'm a little bit more on the green side. It's very weird to describe, but this red looks absolutely, absolutely phenomenal on my skin tone. Um, it lasts all day long. You need to apply this multiple times so it is buildable um, so if you want just a lighter red color um, it's very buildable but I like to get it this deep deep red so it takes me a while to get it to that perfect shade of that I want and then another thing is it is very drying so this is one of the more drying ones that I have of all the reds so also it tends to leave this line um, so I would get this like line right here um, 
but this one shows it more and it, it just won't like apply to that line unless I were to take everything off and like lip scrub my lips and then like put some, some other stuff. Um, also the pricing on the Tarte lip paint is a little more on the higher end price. I'll go ahead and list that below um, so that you can see how much how much it is. Um, but I will say that the color is just absolutely phenomenal. It's all day. If you put some chapstick over it, it's perfect. Number four would have to be this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And in the, this is the color Brickell. Um, this red is absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it really quick so you can see it's so pretty, it's so vibrant. Um, the formula on this, on these Ofra liquid lipsticks are absolutely awesome. They're very lightweight, not drying at all. The color, the color is just so beautifully vibrant and it lasts, uh, it, I know it says that it's long lasting, but it's not as long lasting as some of my other red. Once I eat something, it comes off right away, even though it says long lasting, I'm not sure. It's just, I don't know if it's because of the formula is so light that that's why it just comes off pretty easily but um it's number four just because the color is so pretty it goes on pretty easily and it's not drying to my lips number three so this is one of the darker reds that i like but um color pop has this really pretty dark red and this one is avenue i fell in love with this color the first time i ever got it also carried it uh, for the longest time and then they just kind of stopped carrying it but um i remember the first time i got it and i put it on it was like I was just like blown away because it's so inexpensive that these are like seven dollars and it lasts all day it the color is absolutely phenomenal like look at that it's just the perfect dark red it's not too brown it's absolutely perfect and it looks really great on my skin tone so if you have like golden olives yellow skin tone it looks phenomenal on there like i said it's super inexpensive also it's a very lightweight formula so um, you can build it as well so if you don't want it this dark you don't need to have it this dark it is a buildable lipstick um, but like i said the color is so beautiful it does last all day long um, i will say that it does leave that little line here most i feel like the darker you get in colors the more you are able to see that line but um i definitely think it's worth having in your collection of reds because it's inexpensive and it's a perfect perfect color and it's oh i just love it so much oh color pop you guys just hit the mark you absolutely just hit the mark come on seven dollars like this is perfect i think they had another color that i like too um I can't remember the, I'm telling you, also used to carry them and then just stopped carrying them. So I could, cannot remember for the life of me what the other red was. But if I find out and I remember, I'll go ahead and list it because they are $7 and it's like, it, you need to have it. You just, you have to have it. Good job, Color Pop. Number two on this list of reds is the Juvia's Place. And this one's Afrique. Um, they did have another one that I, I don't know what it is with Ulta when they like, I think, I feel like they'd like to tease you with certain like colors. So like this one, they used to carry these two different reds. It was Afrique and some other red and they were per the most perfect red. They're so pigmented, so beautiful and so inexpensive. I think they're like, these are like $12 each, which is a little more expensive than the ColourPop, but they're way less expensive than like the Ofra or the Tarte. I mean, it's like half the price and they look almost very identical. I would say that the Afrique, this Afrique and the Ofra are very similar in color. Um, I will say, I think that this one is a bit more vibrant than the Ofra, which is crazy to me because this one is way less expensive. And this one also lasts way longer than the Ofra one. Um, the reason I like the Ofra one is just because the color is so pretty. Um, but if I had to choose between the two i would definitely go with this one here um this one is a little bit more than the liquidy side so it is harder to play like it is harder i feel like whenever a lipstick is more liquidy it is harder to line the lips without a lip liner the more liquidy a liquid a lips liquid lipstick is the harder it is without a lip liner and i'm just i don't i like lip liners but i don't like lip liners i just I, mm, I like to save time and having to put a lip liner and then a lipstick. I'm bleh. 
you know what I mean anyways um, so like I said this one is super awesome $12 inexpensive it is vibrant in color like that was just two swatches and it's like so beautiful such a beautiful red and it looks great on my skin cone cone skin tone as you can see you can see kind of like the yellow and uh, green in my skin right now you can kind of like see it it's like a, a big scaly reptile <laughs> anyways um, this is another go-to one to have I think y'all would love it all right guys last but certainly not least it's my absolute absolute favorite red I always go back to this brand um, of red I feel like even when I find another red that I really love, I always seem to go back to this one and I always seem to rebuy it every time. Um, and this one is the Melted Matte. <coughs> I think that was, that was definitely. I just swallowed wrong. Let's just go with that. <laughs> um, it's the Too Faced Melted Matte liquefied matte long wear lipstick like come on you really need to make the title that long anyways um and this one is in lady balls also i love the name like so creative this is just my favorite red i'm wearing it right now to me it's the perfect shade of red it's just not too dark not too bright the most perfect red i've ever ever had my hands on and i always always rebuy this one every time it is on the higher end price i will list it below um but it's just so absolutely so beautiful i love it so much i mean look at it it's just oh it's just so perfect it's just the perfect shade of red also the formula to me is so awesome it's not drying whatsoever it covers that line i can reapply it later on in the night without having so many cracks and creaks on my lips so it still looks fresh every time i reapply it um the it's it's more of a creamy consistency as you can see so it's so much easier to work with on your lips if you don't like to use lip liners and i'm going to go ahead and swatch all the reds um, that we talked about so as you can see this one is the mattest and this is the lady balls and it's the most red like it literally the red on this one is just a little bit deeper than the than this one and these this one's pretty deep but like i said it's more drying i would love this one um if it wasn't so drying but this one right here is just the perfect shade of red to me i always go back to it the formula is perfect it looks great on my skin tone so if you're a latina like me this is your best friend if you are obsessed with reds like me um, I have tried other reds. Uh, I did like the Fenty, but like I said, it's super, super liquidy. So I have a really hard time applying it uh, without a lip liner. Um, even when I use a lip liner, sometimes it's just so um, liquidy. I just, that's the reason why it's not on my top five. <laughs> it's just, if it's hard for me to maneuver as a performer, if I'm running late on time to put on my makeup and my wig and everything that I need, I need, to just put my lipstick on and go. And I can't sit there taking 20 minutes to put a shade of lipstick on because it's so liquidy and I can't work with it. Anyways, a over. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you enjoyed all the different types of reds and they help you make the decision on what reds you should buy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you and please subscribe to my channel also i am on tiktok so if you want to go ahead and follow me there i'm also on instagram so follow me over there too thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a beautiful day and just know that you are worthy of everything you want in life bye guys <laughs>